at ESMO 2021, uh, interesting data uh, regarding the uh, treatment of HER2 positive early breast cancer were presented. First of all, a meta-analysis of survival data of new adjuvant therapy with uh, the dual HER2 blockade with trastuzumab and lapatinib. Then individual patient meta-analysis of five uh, randomized trials evaluating a shorter uh, exposure to trastuzumab. And lastly, a study evaluating the prognostic value of immune genes expression signatures as compared to tumor infiltrating lymphocytes in two new adjuvant studies. At ESMO 2021, we presented the results of a meta-analysis of randomized trials evaluating survival after new adjuvant treatment with the, the dual HER2 blockade with trastuzumab, lapatinib, and chemotherapy in HER2-positive early breast cancer. Uh, indeed, uh, there, in the context of HER2-positive disease, uh, trastuzumab plus chemotherapy provide meaningful pathologic complete response rate increases and also a survival improvement. And uh, thereafter, several randomized trials demonstrated the superiority in terms of pathologic complete response of combining trastuzumab, lapatinib, and chemotherapy. One trial only, uh, the CLGB40601, was able to formally demonstrate also a survival improvement for the combination. Therefore, we planned a meta-analysis of uh, randomized trials um, evaluating the dual HER2 blockade with trastuzumab and uh, lapatinib. So we identified the four studies, the CHERLOB trial, the NCBPB41, the NEOALTO, and the CLGB40601, and uh, together we pulled uh, the data from 1,410 patients. The main results of our meta-analysis was the demonstration that patients achieving a pathologic complete response experienced a 55% reduction in the risk of relapse and a 45% relative reduction in the risk of death as compared to those patients with residual disease. The effect was consistent according to uh, the expression of hormone receptor and in particular, the strength of this association was confirmed for uh, the HER2 patients uh, with the hormone receptor negative disease where the results were significant for both relapse-free and overall survival. And uh, regarding the dual HER2 blockade, we demonstrated that the combination of trastuzumab and lapatin as compared to trastuzumab significantly reduced the risk of relapse as well as the risk of death as compared to chemotherapy trastuzumab. So these data clearly demonstrated the success of an escalation strategy, in particular for high-risk patients in the context of new adjuvant trials. However, uh, more research is needed to refine our ability to predict a pathologic complete response and to stratify the risk of uh, relapse of HER2-positive early breast cancer patients. During ESMO 2021, Professor Earl presented the results of an, in, of an individual patient analysis of five non-inferiority uh, randomized controlled trials evaluating re reduced duration of uh, adjuvant trastuzumab in uh, HER2-positive early breast cancer. So uh, starting from the observation of uh, results of the small fin hair study where trastuzumab was administered in combination with chemotherapy for nine weeks only and where the magnitude of trastuzumab effect was similar to that reported um, in trials evaluating uh, chemotherapy plus one year trastuzumab versus control, several academic institutions started uh, trials to demonstrate non-inferiority of a shorter trastuzumab duration. The only trials that formally demonstrated the non-inferiority of shorter trastuzumab duration is the Persephone. This meta-analysis includes more than 11,000 of patients enrolled in five trials. The Persephone, the FAIR, and the HORG trial comparing 12 months versus 6 months, and the SOLD and the shorter trials evaluating 12 months versus 9 weeks. The primary endpoint for this meta-analysis was invasive disease-free survival, and the, an absolute non-inferiority margin of 2% was pre-specified. Moving to the results, when evaluating together the all five trials combined, the non-inferiority of 12 months versus less trastuzumab exposure were, was not demonstrated. 
When evaluating the two trials, uh, comparing 12 months versus nine weeks, again, the non-inferiority of a shorter trastuzumab exposure was not demonstrated. But when evaluating the three trials, comparing uh, six months versus 12 months, and uh, accounting for more than 7,000 of patients, the non-inferiority of shorter trastuzumab duration was formally demonstrated. Additional analysis according to the disease stage are ongoing. However, this data clearly demonstrated that a significant proportion of patients can be cured with six months of trastuzumab only. And this is particularly relevant considering that there are thousands of patients in low-income countries with limited or no access to trastuzumab. At ESMO 2021, Dr. Fernandez Martinez presented the results of a combined analysis of the CLGB40601 and of the PAMELA trials, evaluating the prognostic value of immune gene expression signatures versus tumor infiltrating lymphocytes in early stage for two positive breast cancer. So tumor infiltrating lymphocytes and immune gene expression signatures are associated with the pathologic complete response and relapse free survival. So the authors evaluated the um, prognostic performance of immune gene expression as compared to TILS uh, by combining uh, the uh, data from two uh, new adjuvant trials, the CLGB, evaluating a new adjuvant chemotherapy plus trastuzumab and lapatim, and the PAMELA trial, evaluating uh, the dual her to block with trastuzumab and lapatinib and endocrine therapy for patients with hormone receptor positive disease. So overall, they test more than 200 RNA-seq immune gene expression signatures and TILs on samples from the CLGB and the PAMELA trials, evaluating the association with pathologic response and relapse-free uh, survival. So the main finding of the uh, combined evaluation of these uh, two trials is that uh, more than 60% of the immune gene expression signatures significantly correlated with the tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. And also uh, some of the signatures were outperforming the tumor infiltrating lymphocytes in pathologic complete response prediction. Um, also uh, an association uh, and an outperforming of classical uh, parameter parameters were observed when combining the immune and gene signatures uh, um, evaluating the uh, relapse survival in the CLGB trial. So uh, we have now the demonstration that a more sophisticated technique, including gene expression profile, uh, perform classical clinical and biological parameters in prediction of pathologic response and in correlation with outcome. However, to be ready for the clinical implementation, it's time to incorporate the information deriving from these analysis in the evaluation of primary outcome measures in clinical trials. Mm -hmm.